with another sports talk video so first things first i want to talk about is angel reese's remarks though, about her basically saying that she is a reason for why people are watching the nba too it's not just caitlin it's her too um how i feel about her comments of uh, that statement i feel like it's important for her to let her work show i feel like a lot of the time she does do great work and things but i feel like um everybody knows Angel Reese is very impactful and if you don't know that she's impactful then that's just on you but I don't feel like she necessarily needs to tell people or let people know how impactful she is I feel like um work and doing the work that you need to do goes without a doubt obviously Angel Reese is up against odds being a black woman in the community that's just how it is unfortunately is it fair no but life's not fair we all know that so i feel like she doesn't necessarily have to always pop her ish i feel like she needs she feels like she needs to pop her ish all the time and she doesn't um i feel like her work speaks for itself um she's going to continue to do great things i feel like her and caitlin will be all stars eventually but um i don't know if she is it's kind of this villain versus hero situation Caitlyn's the villain Angel Reese I mean Caitlyn's the hero Angel Reese the villain type of vibe that is going on um I don't know if she's trying to dive into that role a little bit more um although she, at the end of her season her collegiate season she talks about how hard it was for her and different things like that but sometimes I feel like she's diving into that villain role but I feel like if she's going to dive into that villain role she has to stick with diving into that villain role you can't dive into the villain role in and out when you want to when you get in the backlash and you're getting overwhelmed and different things like that it's like these statements come back to haunt you angel we know you are a big part of the community up to why caitlin i mean not even to why caitlin up to why basketball has had its movements and a lot of people try to argue and say well we only know who injuries is because of the caitlin game no, you only know who Angel Reese is because of the Caitlyn game. Don't speak for everybody. I knew who Angel Reese was when she played in high school. I watched her play in high school um, and the little highlight reels and different things like that that was going on. Um, I knew she went to Maryland. I expected her to do great things at Maryland. Um, she ended up transferring, but even at LSU, everybody, she was one of the top transfers at LSU before she played Caitlyn. Um, and even before she played Caitlin in Iowa when she was in the Big Ten at Maryland and it wasn't this big old thing when it was her versus Caitlin when they played each other at Iowa Maryland so it's not true that people when people say well we only know Angel Reese because of Caitlin that's not true y'all started talking about Angel Reese since her name was blowing up when she hit the TikTok dance the tap tap on the girl after she um scored the layup and got a steal from the girl y'all started to know and become angel reese when she was getting double doubles back to back before she even made it to the championship she was breaking records and double doubles and people were talking about her on espn people were talking about her um Stephen a all different kinds of people before they even played caitlin well not necessarily Stephen a but the women's side of sports the people that have been watching women's basketball wba but Ben's talking about LSU and people wanted LSU to win and Kim Mulkey and different things like that before she even played Caitlyn. So that whole theory about we only know who injuries is because of Caitlyn, stop it. Cut, cut the cap. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Stop it. But yeah, all in all, I feel like she is leaning into this villain role. But I feel like since when you lean into this villain role, don't come back later talking about how it's hard for you and this and that because you feel like you gotta pop your stuff all the time you don't gotta pop it all the time when you're great you know you're great you don't always gotta you don't gotta yell it scream holler it in our face we know we know we know sis but yeah all in all this conversation versus caitlin versus angel is uh, um it's getting like 
annoying a little bit. I want to see something different. I want to see a new dynamic. Why are you not talking about the Connecticut Sun and how they whoop no nearby or something? Like, y'all ain't even talk about Diana playing Skylar and Tarasi, even though the storm whooped up on Phoenix. It whooped up on. But yeah, I feel like it just needs to be a new conversation and new dynamics in WA. Just besides this injuries and Caitlyn controversy or now it's other players being thrown into it now it's the chicago sky versus the indiana controversy now, every time they play each other it's gonna be this big old giant thing but yeah also with that angel reese got kicked out of the game because she said a comment to the referee and waved her hand i think it's weak and i still feel like as women in the game versus men y'all be letting these men say all kind of crazy stuff call you out your name in the game of crazy stuff and women can't say nothing you can't say anything that was bs i think that's what she said that was a bs call um at the end of the day i don't feel like that's wrong with her saying that's a bs call like you're a competitor um you play sports you're gonna talk trash talking trash is part of the game talking trash is part of sports in general like it just come with the territory and i feel like being a woman it's still y'all still be like that's not ladylike, all this and that. Bro, we it's not here to be ladylike, bro. Who be trying to hoop? Ain't nobody worried about, <laughs> we nobody worried about being cute. We be trying to hoop. Even though she do got a lashes and all that stuff done. Like, at the end of the day, <clears throat> at the end of the day, people are trying to hoop. Ain't nobody worried about all of that y'all talking about. And y'all crazy. But yeah, all in all, WMC is getting more talked about. I am appreciative of that. I wish that they would spread the love a little bit and talk about other people and what they're doing and things that's going on. Um, I feel like just like they have like a, um, I just feel like it needs to be more coverage as far as just like maybe a show just dedicated specifically to the WBA and what's literally going on. I feel like they need to start that on the WBA show. Put me on there, okay? I'll be on there. Um, I do feel like the WNBA act like I said in my other video, y'all need to next season, 2025 season, need to make the games more accessible because it's all over the place. Some games you can watch on YouTube Premium, some games you can't, you gotta catch it on regular TV. Some games, you gotta be in your certain jurisdiction to be able to watch. Like, it's a whole lot of a lot going on and make like very confusing and stuff. But I am glad to see people are going to games. More stars are going to games and just interacting and on Twitter is talking and getting engagement and talking and saying all this stuff. But I didn't even know that WNBA players got fined. I just the first year that I'm seeing people getting fined for stuff. Like they find an Angel Reese for this and finding this for that. And it's like, why y'all trying to y'all trying to find them now? Because you know she got money or something. I don't know. This is just the first time I've heard about a player, a WNBA player, like getting kicked out and you get fined this and that like i never really heard that tell me if i'm tripping in the comments let me know but yeah i don't know guys it's some more games coming on tonight let me tell you what those games are so the aces play the wings that should be a good one hopefully and then the Lynx play the sparks uh, the Sparks, I don't know. The Sparks are very young, too. Um, I feel like they're just trying to find their way at the end of the day. But, yeah. I wonder what's going on over there. But, yeah. But that's all, you guys, that I have for today. This little WNBA talk. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. I hope your June is starting out amazing. And I hope you are enjoying your summer thus far. Um, it's only our fifth day out here, but we need it. God gave us another day. So, yeah. Peace.
Stay.